Hi, my name is Paul Grogan. Welcome to my tutorial and playthrough of Anunnaki Dawn of the Gods. This is a four player full playthrough of the game where we're going to be teaching you how to play the game as we go. Thank you very much to Cranio Creations for asking me to create this video. And there's a few things that I just want to say before we dive into the playthrough. First of all, this was filmed using a prototype copy of the game. So what you see in the video is not the final production. In fact, Cranio have asked me to say that they've reduced the size of the player boards and the planet boards since filming this video. Keep an eye on the Kickstarter page. I will put a link to it in the corner of the screen and in the description of the video. That will have the full details of the game. And of course, we're playing with the rules and the terminology as they were at the time of filming the video. That might have changed since then. So as I say, everything up to date about the game will be available on the Kickstarter page. One thing I would ask you to do before watching the video is to turn on your Klingon subtitles. I've tried to catch as many errors as we could during the filming of the game, but if there are any errors that we've made spotted afterwards, I will uh, basically add Klingon subtitles to the video. So if you turn those Klingon subtitles on now, if there aren't any, it means we haven't made any mistakes. But if there are some, then as I say, I'll, I'll put some on screen. A big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who help fund the channel and help me continue to make more videos like this. If you like this video and any other content that I create, obviously please give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. But also please consider supporting me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Okay, let's head to the table and get on with the game. Right, so we're ready to play. The first thing we need to do, we are, we are pretty much mostly set up, um, but we need to determine who the start player is. Uh, and that will be... Go on, let's do it old-fashioned way. So, Paul, left or right? Left. My left, your left. Uh, or your <laughs> left. Okay. Between red and yellow, okay? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Head to head already, Paul. Yeah. It's me so, you, Rob, man. start player is red. Good. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Again. So, what happens in this game is there is there is a bit of a variable setup. A lot of the setup we've, we've done for you, and we'll go through the rest of it as we go. But one of the main things is the player board. You have... 10 slots for action tiles and you have 10 action tiles and what happens is whoever is the start player which is jp will shuffle his tiles together and place them at random into the spaces on the board and then we all need to follow it so every player has exactly the same uh layout so jp will do them if you start with the one at the top tell us what number it is and then we will copy that okay number two number two is at the top yeah. Okay, next row starting from left to right. Again, rows. Okay, so that's four. Four. Nine. Yep. Eight. Eight. Five. Five. It's like bingo. It is. <laughs> line. Next one. And next got line, line down. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. House. <laughs> Number one. Number one. And then the last three. The last three will be six. And the left, bottom left, yeah, ten, ten. and seven. And seven. Right, okay. So as I say, everybody has uh, the same setup at the start of the game. So I'm going to give you a quick overview uh, of how the game plays before we start. But then we'll, then we'll dive into the details. So what's going to happen is JP has the first player marker. We're going to be basically going around the table taking turns, one after another. On your turn, your turn consists of five steps. You do a mandatory action, which is these 10 actions that we've just laid out. Then you do a mana action, which is kind of like a secondary action, which is optional. Your, your primary action is mandatory. Then you have a free action. Step four is battles and step five is take culture tokens. But basically what's going to happen is we're going to take it in turns round the table until one of the game end triggers happens. When it does, we continue playing until we've all had the same number of turns. So I will always take the last turn uh, in the game. Right, so as I say, we're going to explain all of the rules as we go. Should we just jump in yeah. and, and, yeah. and start and mm -hmm. see how we get on? So, JP, it is your first turn of the game. So, on the first turn of the game, and I'll show you my board, you have an action point, and the first action you can do in the game is you can choose any of these blue, greeny, turquoisey actions. You can't choose a red one on the first turn of the game, but other than that, you can choose any of the actions you want to do. So, JP, which action do you want to do? I am going to do number four. Okay, so the number four pact. action is to take a commercial pact. If we have a look at this central board here, we've got a big pile of commercial packs, and we've dealt out six of them at random at the start of the game. The red ones are slightly harder to do than the blue ones. 
Uh, and this action allows you to basically take any one of the commercial packs and put it next to your player board and it then refreshes. Now, the commercial packs, you will fulfill them as a free action by completing the what's on, printed on the top and you're going to get what's printed below. But you can take any one that you want to, but obviously you want to try and take one that you're going to be looking to do. Which one of those would you like to take? I am going to take this one. Okay, and that gets replenished straight away. Now, since we're looking at this board, I will just tell you now that there are these four gold tiles. There are only four gold tiles included in the game. These are randomly placed at the start of the game. And one of the things that we're going to be doing in this game is we're going to going to be moving our markers up these three tracks. We have the war track, uh, the technology track, and the commerce track. And we're going to get points based on how far we progress along the track, based on the condition at the end. The domination track is slightly different, and the domination track, we will move up there based on this tile here. So it, more variability in the game, but the game is changed depending on those gold tiles. Right, so that's your mandatory action done. Yep. You now get to do a mana action if you want to. I'm going to not do that okay. at the stage. Step three is a free action, yep. which you can't do can't at do. the moment. Nope. We'll come on to free actions later on. Then we have battles, none of those, and then we have taken the culture tokens. We'll explain the rest of the steps as we yeah. as we do them, but that is it. That is the end of your first turn. Done. Paul, mm. as the Egyptians... As the Egyptians, uh, well, actually, I want to start some commercial trading as well. So okay. I'm going to have a commercial have a pact. Person. Yes, you should. What would you like? Uh, I'd like to take the one with the uh, the fighty sword on, please. Oh, oh what a surprise! He's, he's at it again. <laughs> this one, that the... one right there. Okay. <laughs> so not only are you copying him, copying JP's action. I'm also you're also getting ready for fighting. Getting ready for fighting. Well, it, it depends on where he goes with yeah. his fighting. That is, I, that I is can... true. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Have either of you taken a pact with a a thing on it? I've yeah. I take a thing on it. J J JP has. Let's let, let, just show you this again. So JP's taken a pact, and in the top left there is a there is a picture of a of a planet board. Now that is my planet, okay? So for JP to fulfil all of this all of this, he has to control a territory on my planet. If he doesn't control a territory on my planet, he can either get the middle bit or the bottom bit. But if he wants to do all of it, he's going to have to get a territory on my planet. So. The fact that you've taken that one gives me an indication of what you might be wanting to do. But, you know, this is only sending an envoy I, over I, to your world. I, I realise that. It's not declaring war. <laughs> I, 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 I fully realise that. I don't, why the envoy is carrying a thousand swords, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. With malicious intent. Yes. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Do you have any other secondary actions? Uh, or no, I'm not going to take a secondary We'll action. explain all of the secondary actions as they happen. So I'm going to start here. Right, Rob has chosen action number one. Action number one is the portal action. With that action... You can move one unit from anywhere on any of the planets to any territory on any of the planets except for Atlantis. So the central board here is Gaia. Uh, we each have our home planets. This is Gaia. Uh, and the two central spaces here are Atlantis. So you cannot use the portal to go to Atlantis. Other than that, you can go wherever you want. England, I'm going back to England. There you, go. you could even, if you really wanted to, portal to go from there to there. Right? That, right. It's a bit of a waste, but you can do that. It's fine. And so I'm not taking another action at this time. You're not doing any man uh, manor actions nope. or anything like that. So that. the culture tokens, and we're, good, we're just going to zoom in on, on this board for a minute here. So these culture tokens were shuffled and randomly placed at the start of the game. Whenever at the end of your movement there is a unit next to one of the tokens, it's revealed. Now you don't claim it until step five of your turn, and you only claim it when it's completely surrounded by units doesn't have to be units of the same player uh, but once there's a unit there unit there unit there all players with at least one unit in those three will get that bonus but it's revealed at that point in your movement okay that's it that's your portal action and you're not doing any of the other stuff no. right okay so me oh i don't know what i'm gonna do um i had all sorts of options i think i might do something different from the last game that i played he says <laughs> <laughs> Then again, there's so, there's I totally so many did things. the same thing. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Let's have a look at my board. Yeah, this is interesting. This is an interesting layout. I'm going to go with something very simple. And I'm going to choose this action. This is action number 10. So what this allows me to do is exchange one resource for two resources. But all three resources have to be different. So I'm going to choose that action there. Now, you've got food, you've got metal, you've got gold, and you've got wood. So what I'm going to do is I am going to spend my uh, food 
and I'm going to gain one wood and one gold. And yeah, that is it. So these are all of the different manner actions that I can do. Um, and I think at this stage, um, I think I might actually do a, a manner action. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a mana action. So this is the you can only do one of these, and you do it after your mandatory action. So I'm going to do this one. This one is spend one mana crystal. You start with two, so I'm going to spend one of them, and I spend two gold. Spend two gold to upgrade an action tile. So these action tiles are all two sided, and there's something better on the other side. When you upgrade an action tile, you can only upgrade one that you're standing next to, and if it's uh, one of the greeny blue ones, it's free apart from the two gold. But if you want to upgrade a red one, it costs you a wood and a metal. So I'm actually going to upgrade this one here. So I'm going to upgrade this one and flip it over. Now, flipping it over does two things. First of all, there is this icon here. Every time you see like an orangey circle with an icon inside, what that means is you move your marker up the corresponding track. So all your um, tiles, all your action tiles, whenever you upgrade one, you always advance on the technology track. It's one space for a blue one, greeny blue one. I'll just call them turquoise, um, and two if it was a red one, okay? The second thing that happens is you immediately get to perform that action. So I'm doing two actions. I'm, I did that one, and I'm also doing this one. This is harvesting. So it's a harvest two. What that means is I can choose two spaces, uh, two territories to harvest from. Now, when you harvest from a territory, you get resources based on what's shown here. And the number of resources you get is based on two things. The total strength of all units that you have in there. So this is one follower with a strength of one. And there's only one resource in there anyway. So I get one resource. If I had three followers in there, I would still only get one resource because that is the maximum limit. But if I had three in here, I would get three metal. Okay. So it's the number, the strength, total strength of the units that you've got or the number of icons that's there, whichever's the least. That's how many resources you get. And then after you have harvested, you cover over one of those things. So even if you harvested three, you'd cover one of them over. That is now exhausted. There's no more wood left there whatsoever. And I gain one wood. Now your home territory is different because you only ever get one from it. So even though I've got two followers here, I still only get one metal, but it's got the, the gold band around it, which means it's never exhausted. So I get a metal, I got the wood, um, and that is that so i did that i did the upgrade i flipped that over i've done that no free actions i'm done so i'm gonna go straight over here okay so the next thing to explain is the second action that you can do uh, and hopefully you can see this on jp's board you can choose to do any other action other than the one that you're on you don't have to go along the lines there is a benefit if you do go along the lines but jp has made the decision to jump all the way across his board to action number five. Yep. So we don't place any cubes or get any crystals. We'll explain that on somebody else's turn. Action number five is exactly the same as what I've just done. It's harvest two. It's just a more powerful version, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to harvest two. I'm going to get one wood. One wood for there, which doesn't exhaust. And then one, one metal from metal, there, which, which does. does exhaust. Now, a quick note. That is still a metal territory. There are certain things in the game which refer to territories of a certain type. Even if all of the resources are covered over, it still counts as that type of territory. This is a prototype that we're playing with today, so it's not clear to see, but they are going to change the graphic design so that it is still clear yeah. that that is a metal territory. So that's, that's my mandatory main action. mandatory action. And I'm going to do a mana action. Okay, which of, action are you going to do? Um, the... Forge weapons. Okay, I'll show you this on my board. So JP is doing this action, which is spend one crystal, spend two metal to take two weapons. Now, each of us has a pile of weapons at the start of the game, which are the red weapons. At the moment, in this current version of the game, we all have exactly the same. There are seven of these red weapons. Again, prototype, things might change. We all have exactly the same. Whenever you get to uh, weapons, you choose whichever weapon you want from the pile. So these aren't shuffled. You can take whichever weapon you want. There are advantages to each of them. The JP is taking two weapons. You actually start the game... Oh, it's two weapons. It's two weapons. You actually start the game with two blue weapons. Now, blue weapons can only ever be used in defence. 
So if you ever want to attack somebody, you need to use a red weapon. You cannot attack somebody unless you play a red weapon. Even if you want to. Okay. On to the teeth. There you go. Mm. So they go into your hand. <laughs> and then you have your free actions, if you have any of those. But I, don't, I don't. Do. No no combat. No combat. So Paul. Paul's going. You'll go. Which okay. action would you okay. like Okay, well, I'm going to use action three. So I'm going to, I'm okay. going to move along. So Paul, and I'll, again, I'll show you this on my board. But what Paul has done is he's moved his action pawn along one of the lines. Now, whenever you move along a line over one of these spaces, you get to take one of your cubes, you put it into that space. And if there was a crystal or two crystals, you would gain that crystal at this point. There is a big advantage to placing these cubes on the board, but there can sometimes be an advantage to just going to the action you want. So Paul has moved across a line and placed a cube on the board, and that got you a crystal? It got me a crystal. Okay, and action number three is three movement. Yep. So let's explain how movement works in the game. Paul's got three movement points, and with each movement point, he can move one unit from a territory to an adjacent territory. Now, all territories that share a side are adjacent, apart from if you look very closely on Gaia, you will notice that there are some solid lines. So you cannot move across the solid lines, you can only move across uh, the dashed lines. But let's have a look at um, let's have a look at your board. What are you going to do with your three movement points then? So I'm going to move uh, one, two, And I'm going to stop there. You're just using the two? I'm just going to use the two. Okay. When, uh, yeah. So that culture token gets revealed at the end of your movement. Because you are now next to it. At the end of my movement, yeah. Good. Okay. Would you like to do a mana action? Yes. I'd like to do a mana action. I'd like to do... Harvest is what I want to do. I want to harvest these. Okay. So, the blue one. so I'm going to go for... Uh, the red one. Ooh, so I'm going, to pay, I'm going to pay all three crystals. Right. Okay. So I'll just show you this on my board. So this, these two actions here are spend three crystals to do one of your red actions, and this is two crystals to do one of your blue actions. You don't move your action pawn to it. You literally just do it, but you can't do the one that you're on. So Paul has spent three crystals to do a red action, and the red action you're doing is harvest three. Harvest two. This one. Oh, sorry, it's a harvest two. Harvest two. Harvest two. So, yeah. Uh, in which case, I will harvest... Uh, I can harvest in two areas. Two, two territories, yeah. Uh, two territories. Uh, I'll have these get, two. So, yeah, you've we'll got... There's two, two metal available, and you have two unit, two strength worth of units there, so you get two metal. That covers over one of those. And the gold. Yeah, the gold. So, what's, what's interesting is, although Paul controls his home territory with a settlement there... You can't harvest from there because you harvest equal to the strength points, and at the moment, and the settlement doesn't have any strength. Right. So. Okay. Yeah. So that is your, that was your manner action. That was my manner action. No free actions. So I think that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. okay. So Rob. I'll move to this adjacent location, which is the trade or the marketability. Yep. Yeah. I drop a marker down you drop there. Drop a cube over there. Now and we've then, already explained that action because yeah. I've done it. So I'm going to spend one food to gain, one wood and. Uh, one gold. You just pop it on there. That's it. Yep. Right. I'm then going to spend a crystal. Yep. Along with two wood to build a settlement. To build a settlement. Right. Let's just have a look at this on my board. So this is this manner action. Uh, Rob is spending one crystal, two wood to build a settlement, and you can build settlements in any territory that you control that doesn't already have a settlement on it. Sweet. So oh. Yep. Um, I'd put the camera on there, but actually you're building there, obviously. You've built you've built exit to cathedral. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mighty cathedral. Back to you. All done. My go. So I'm gonna to move to here and I'm gonna portal. So I've moved over a line, which means I get to drop a cube in there. And then I'm gonna portal. Now my settlements can go via portals. If I need to. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to here. It's going to take a unit with it. So that's a special ability that I've got. That my settlements can be moved or portals as if they were a unit and they can carry one with them. In fact, I don't... Hmm. Thinking about it. 
Yeah. No, actually, I think I'm just going to send the one guy on his own because I am also going to build a settlement as my mana action. So I spend one mana, I spend two wood, and I'm going to build a settlement. And now we'll build the settlement. So there we go. I'm building a settlement in South Africa. Right. That's it for me. No free actions. I am done. Okay. I'm also going to do a portal action. Okay. So you're placing a cube. So cube. Get my mana crystal. And I shall send... You coming over to this lovely, uh, I am. lovely blue planet? Yeah. Now, which which territory is the? Are oh, you want you want you want you want this this one over here? Yeah, on the other side of the, the, the other, other side of the planet. That, yeah. That's not going to be that <laughs> helpful. Um, it's a very friendly place. Yeah, it's all good. I think. Let's go here. Okay. Uh, so that's the main action. Yeah, mana I'm, action. I'm going to do a mana action to build a. Are you building settlement. a settlement as well? Right. Turns up, builds his own house. I know, invades your, your planet. Yeah. <laughs> Takes the resources. Unbelievable. Terrible. Well, it's my ability to, to hoover up all culture bonuses, isn't it? So, yeah, it benefits it's, it's, me. it's good for you to, to spread be around a bit. Yeah. So, that's me done. Okay. Okay. So, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to go back and grab another contract. Because I can replace uh, because yeah. of my ability. So one thing I haven't mentioned yet is all of the characters, uh, all of, all of the factions have a card representing their major god. So mine is Odin, and that comes with a special ability. So at the start of the game, we all have a special ability. We get another one once the major god enters the game. But at the start of the game, we all have a special ability. And Paul's special ability as Ra is that if he moves his action pawn over a line that already has a cube on it you may choose to take that cube off and put it somewhere else on the board. Which I will do. It's very powerful. Uh, and I will place it there to gain me. Which gets you two crystals. Two crystals. Nice. Okay, and you're taking another another commercial and pact. I'll take another what commercial would you like? pact. I'd like the, uh, not a fighting one, this one. Uh, you sure? Down. Yeah, the one with the portal in the middle. The Thank two you. portal options. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. That gets replaced. Right. I don't know how much of that Any is manor actions? viewable. Um, Uh, no, I'm, okay. not, I'm not going to do. And free actions? Can you fulfil any of no, those? I can't packs? fulfil those, no, okay. because I moved the wrong way. That's right, okay. okay. <laughs> Rob? If I move from here to here, yeah. drops that and takes a crystal. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to harvest, and I'm going to harvest three wood because my settlements count as strength two yeah. for harvesting. So Ishtar's special ability is that for the purposes of harvesting, your settlements count as two strength. So you actually have three strength in there for harvesting, which means you get three wood. Wow. It's very nice. And that gets covered yeah. over. One, two, three. There we go. And then I am going to spend a crystal and two gold to do a free upgrade okay. action. So we explained how the upgrade action works when I did it. Which one are you going to upgrade? You can only upgrade one adjacent oh, to that where was you it. are. Yep. So I'm just going to upgrade this one, which is just take two resources. So it moves you up one space on the technology Two track. different resources. And you've upgraded your market action tile. Yeah, yep. so you get two different resources. So that's going to be a wood and steel. Okay. And any free actions? That was my free action. No, free action is summoning a oh. god or no. oh, sorry, fulfilling that. a commercial No, because I don't have any. I don't Not have either. Those. Right. Okay, my go. I'm going to move to here. So this is action number eight. And what action number eight means is that I gain the, uh, basically my settlements produce. So this is the icon for settlements and the little tick means all my settlements produce. So we look at the top of my player board and you see what I get. So I'm going to get two followers. The more of these settlements you have on the board, the more stuff that you get when they produce. So right now I get two followers, which come from my supply here. And the followers can go into any territories which I control. Now, I was going to put more of them here, but we've got, we've got Zeus on the verge. He's just arrived here. He's just little, arrived on the planet. A little worried about. Don't be worried about, about it, Paul. And un you took a weapon card. That's for something else. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's for attacking me. <laughs> no. <laughs> we've um, all got neutral little I think for the purposes of, of, of this being good for... Oh, I should have revealed that as well. That, was, that should have yeah, been revealed. Yeah. Um, for the purposes of harvesting, I am going to place yeah, those good. two followers there. That's good. Um, do I want to do a mana action? 
Oh, I should have placed a cube here. I can't do a mana action because I don't have any crystals. So I'm done. That is my go done. Right, are you going to attack me? No, I'm <laughs> literally going to copy... You're also producing. ...exactly what you're doing. Okay, so you get two followers as well. Yeah. This might look aggressive. Yeah, just a bit. I just, I, just the one, I want the uh, the metal. You, you've got rich metal I do have deposits lots of metal. in your area. So I do. It's, uh, it's, too, it's just too tasty. Yeah. Any mana action? So any mana action. Um, was that a crystal? No, it wasn't, was it? I don't think so, no. Okay. I'm not going to do that. And, and no what's free. your pact? One food and three metal? Yeah. Okay, but you'll be getting the three metal very soon. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I that's see. kind of what I'm doing. I see how that yeah. works. Right. Not aggressive. Just not aggressive at all. Just resource. Okay, done. Yeah. Done. Good. Okay, I am moving over, uh, jumping a cube. Which allows me to relocate another cube to get me two more crystals. Yeah. Still on that first cube, Paul. It's, it's just still on my first cube. And like my previous game, where I blitzed all my cubes out. So action number one is two movement points. Uh, is two movement points, and now I'm going to go one, two. So this is now surrounded. Just to find out. So if, if you no. move into here, there will be a battle. At the end step. Uh, I haven't bought any you weapons bought any weapon yet. Ah, thank you, you. But you will get a weapon. Uh, only in step five. That's uh, right. the end which of the, was, uh, after okay. the battle. Okay, so, so maybe not. Uh, I will go one, two then. That's you got fine. a bit excited there. I got a bit you? excited. <laughs> I was getting a bit hot under the collar there thinking, so oh yes. So that's the two movement points. That's that's two move. movement points. <laughs> okay. okay. Any so, manner yeah. actions? Yeah, I'll do a manner action. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you could have moved in there. Yeah. No, actually, actually, if you wanted to do this, you could move in there. This is a really important part of spend because the battle only happens in step four of your turn. That gives you enough time to buy the weapons, mm. and there is a strength four weapon, yeah, which means you will win the fight because you win ties. Yes. So yes. you could totally uh, do this. I think I will actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Let's this is that. a really important thing about the turn sequence. For the first step of your turn is your mandatory action. You've just done that. Now. I mentioned earlier on you need a red weapon card in order to attack, and Paul currently doesn't have a red weapon card. Mm -hmm. But you don't need the red weapon card until the battle actually comes to resolve, which is step four of your turn. So in step two, if you now do the manner action of yep. spending one crystal... I can spend one crystal. Two metal. Two metal. You can take any two weapon cards from your supply, and they go into your hand. <laughs> now let's just have a look excited. at these... <laughs> So Paul's going to be about to fight this ancient civilization tile. These were all randomly placed at the start of the game. Uh, they have strengths between three and five, and you have to choose which weapon card you're going to play before the tile gets revealed. But attacker wins tile. So although Paul's only gone in with one follower, uh, man with spear, um, you could you could you could win this fight if you play an attack strength of four. Yeah, I chose the wrong card. Okay. That one there. Okay, so, okay, so your, your mana gonna... action was to take weapons. Yes. Step three of your turn is free action. I can take is... two cards. You I can, can take, take two. two weapons. Step three of your turn is free action, which is summoning a god, which we haven't seen yet. We'll explain that when it happens. Uh, or com and, and or completing one of your um, commercial pacts. And so I play a card. And now we have step four, which is battle. Yep, so when you're fighting... Um, when you're fighting one of the ancient civilizations, you play one card. Okay, You have to play one card, and if you're attacking, it has to be a red card. So you might as well play it face up. Let's have a look what we've, what you've played. Let's pop it. Let's pop it here. So you've played a okay. ballista. Now, if the weapon card has a cost in the top left, you must pay that cost when you play the card. Okay, So Paul's played this card, yeah. which is a ballista, and you can see in the top left there is one metal which means he has to pay a metal to play the card. Okay? Yep. And what it does is it adds the strength points, as shown there, onto his attack strength. So what you now do is you now reveal the counter. As a, we know it's between three and five. It turns out it's four. And the, pe the, the special ability is your gods would have strength one. Now, this isn't a god. This is just a regular follower. So your strength is five. Their strength is four. You win the fight. Now, when you win the fight, two things happen. You get the rewards printed on the tile, which is two gold and one food. They're all different, so you gain that. And if you win the fight, you also get the benefits as printed on the bottom of your weapon card. So in this case, Paul's going to move one space up on the war fair track, 
and he's going to get three points. That card goes back to your supply. Okay, so yellow has moved one space up on that track and has got the first points in the game. Yay! Three. Everybody get in. And do I then receive this? Yeah, the two gold and the one foot. Two gold. And then the ancient civilization has been defeated. Okay. And that was step four. Now, step five of your turn is you now have a culture token which is fully surrounded by units. The fact that they're all your units doesn't matter. And now all players with units surrounding it get the bonus of it, which in this case is a weapon and it's just you. Sorry, so you one get one more weapon? You get one weapon. Guess what one that's going to be? Sharp arrow. Could take the same one back. <laughs> take the same one back. And that is your turn done. So we've had our first fight in the game. Rob, step okay. one. I'm Could, to this uh, I, I missed doing this then. I did say, did you want to do a free action of completing a commercial pact? Okay. Do it next time. Do it next time. Do it next time. So I move across here, dropping that which crystal, yep. crystal. The action I take is to move up to three points. Three movement points to spend. One, two, three. Okay. Then I'm so yeah, take the same it. unit can move more than once. Take a bonus action by spending a crystal and two wood to drop another, another settlement, settlement down here. Oh, nice. So that actually gives you a lot of harvesting power in that area. Any? Nope, and nope. Nope, and nope, nope. Right, my go. I'm going to move to here. I'm going to choose action number nine, which we haven't seen yet. So I've moved from here to here, which gets me to place a cube on here. Now, action number nine is the domination action. So with the domination action, this is the action that you take in the game to move up the domination track. So let's show you the domination track now. So this is the domination track in the game, and it's very important for a few reasons. Now, because of the gold tile that we've chosen, again, this was chosen randomly at the start of the game, that means that every time you choose the domination action, you will move one space up this track for each settlement. I have two settlements, which means I move, or we should all actually be on the starting space here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So I move two spaces up. Now that means I get this. So this is an immediate one shot of two victory points. That's gone. Now, domination track will be worth points at the end of the game, depending on where you end up. But the other thing is this uh, lightning here. So you are not allowed to cross the barrier on any of these three tracks until your domination marker has crossed the lightning on that track there. And crossing the lightning barrier on one of these three tracks is an end game trigger. So you're not allowed to do that until you've gone across this, this barrier here. But that is that action done. So yeah, I did the action. Um, I didn't get any mana crystals, so I don't have a mana action. Nothing for it. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to move across here. Get a crystal. Action number five, action number which five. is harvest two territories. Unsurprisingly. You're going to steal all of my metal. I'm going to get all your metal reserves. So you get three metal from there, and then one gets covered over. And then I'm going to do my home... Uh, wood area. Okay, which gets you one wood, which is very nice. Right. Do you want to do a mana action? Yeah, I, I do. So okay. I'm spend two crystals. Two crystals. To portal. To do a blue action. Blue portal. And you're going to portal. What are you going to portal? One in there. Okay, just sneaks over. Yeah. Right. So we've now got an important part of the game that's happened, which is we have our first summoning of a god. So I'm going to show you this on my board, just so you can see it a bit clearer. But you will notice that there are these triangular counters, uh, which, when they're surrounded by cubes, you will be able to summon a lesser god. And then you have this token in the middle of the board, that once this is surrounded by cubes, which I, I might be going for, um, then you summon the major god. So JP has managed to surround one of the triangular markers. So what happens is, as a free action, in step three of your turn, you may choose to summon a, a lesser god. Yeah. Each player has, at the start of the game, four of these lesser god cards. The game's going to come with more than four. Our prototype has five. I believe there might be six or seven each. But what you do at the start of the game is you choose four of them, uh, which are the four that you're going to play with for that game. For your first game, you just choose them at random, but later games, you will choose which four you play with. And then, whenever you summon a lesser god, you basically choose one of them and you put it into play. Yeah. The, the piece, the Lesser God miniature, replaces one of your followers on the board. So which of your followers becomes a Lesser God? Right. Also, the follower goes back to the supply. The Lesser God is worth... It has a unit strength of two for the purposes of harvesting and combat, but it still counts as one unit. Now, summoning the God does a couple of things. 
Uh, you move up on the track according to what icons on the bottom. That has the handshake. It's commercial. Yeah. So you advance one on the commerce track. And also, the uh, lesser gods have three different types. There are some of them with immediate abilities, some of them with end-of-game abilities. That one has a permanent ability. So do you want to read out what that one does? Yes, this is Hera. And she allows me uh, to basically every time uh, I get followers, I just get one more follower. So it's another way of getting more dudes on the map. <laughs> okay. So it's very good. So that's a free action. Yeah. Do you also want to complete your commercial pact? So I can do a summon and a commercial. You can do a, a summon commercial. and a commercial That's pact. good, because I wanted to do that. Okay. So yes, I definitely want to do that. Right. The cost is... Let me just show people this commercial it. pact again. So this is the commercial pact that JP took. So you've got the food. You spend the food. You've got yep. the three metal. Spend that. And because you do own a territory, you do control a territory on the blue planet, you get all of these rewards. But just as a reminder, if you didn't control the planet, you could choose to take either the middle rewards or the bottom rewards. So these rewards, it's it's points in the bottom left, which is zero. Uh, movement up on the commerce track, which two. is two. So you nice. move up another two points on the commerce track. Yep. And then you get to build a settlement and you take another commercial pact. So unsurprisingly, settlement is going to go on Gaia. Yep. And the commercial pact. Now, this is interesting. I think I'm going to take this one. Okay. Right, get replenished. Right, so that was your free action. So that's step three, which is free action. Step four is battle. We need to reveal that. There is no battle for me. And then step five is taking culture tokens, which, which I can't do. Right, Paul. Okay, I'm going to jump over another cube. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get two more. That one cube just keeps... But you that, are getting so many crystals. I'm getting some crystals. Yeah, have a... I have a plan. Okay. Um, anyway, so uh, this allows me to harvest in two regions I control, yep. two territories. So uh, I'm going to get some food from that one. One food and one gold. And I'm going to get gold from the Or other. you could take a metal. It's up to you. Uh, Save the two gold. Going to, get yeah, maybe. Maybe I will. Uh, yeah, because that will block one off, won't it? So I'll yeah. take a metal instead. Yep. Okay, that's good. There you go. Second reaction. Manor action. Yeah. So, um, the manor action, I think I'm going to spend two. I've got three now. Yeah, it's... I am going to do this first, I think. You're going to do the bottom I'm going to do this way around. So, I'm okay. going to use the bottom one. So, the bottom manor action is spend one mana crystal, spend two food to add three followers to the board. Just as a reminder, followers have to go where you've got settlements. You could split them up between your settlements however you want. You've only got one I've settlement got one. on the board. So you get three followers in there. Okay. Yep. Right. Uh, free I actions. Can't do my free actions can't now. Can't do your Because I, I just meant those. That's it. Okay. Uh, so that's me done. Okay. Right. Rob. I move to here, placing a token as I go. I'm going to take one gold and one food because I have that upgraded. I'll then send one mana crystal and two steel. To take the take weapons action, which will be to take two weapons cards, which is going to be that one and that he one. Is what he wants. And then I'm going to remove this marker to switch this man out for this guy. So and we have a lesser god appearing. Lesser god Who is, is it? Asur. So plus one strength in every territory where I have at least two units. So there's now strength four in that region because he's strength two, plus one, one for strength plus three. The one. Strength four. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's what you've done. Back now, here. just as a note, um, this lesser god isn't that one. Okay. Okay. There are four lesser gods. The figures are all the same. You don't have to remember which okay. one is, is where, because their abilities are universal. Universal for, for everywhere. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Well, I kind of had a plan, but that plan isn't working because of the location of these particular pieces. Um. Like, I don't really want to move three at this point in time, but <laughs> I kind of want more things. Oh, Unleash tricky. your god plan. It's tricky, yeah. isn't it? Well, I thought about it, but actually I'm thinking I might do something different. Um, I'm thinking I might take one of those commercial pacts. Mm -hmm. But 
all of those commercial packs need food, and I really don't have much food. So it is it is tricky. It is tricky. Let's have a slight tweak to the plan in that I will go there. I'm going to put a cube on there. I'm going to get myself a crystal. And I'm going to take a commercial pact. And the commercial pact I'm going to take is... Okay, I'm going to take this one. It's super hard to do, but I'm going to spend the entire game trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and probably fail. <laughs> I don't want to do a mana action, and I don't have any free action. So that's it. That's me done. Okay, I'm going to move over to the dominance action. Yep. Yeah. You've got three settlements on the board. So, so you move three spaces up on the dominance track. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Take the two Just victory points. Two points. That's my whole reason for doing it. Yeah. Just nice. Get that early. And that's it. Nothing else? Nothing else. Okay. Very simple. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I ask a question? Yep. Can you have uh, settlements from two different yep. races in the same yep. territory? No. Okay. In that case, I will... Get off my land. <laughs> hey. I will grab... The cube, get a crystal. The cube in there to grab a crystal. You're portaling. And I'm going to portal one little dude over to here. Yep. You're going to join the party and go. Yep. Join the party. So roll on here. And then I'm going to do uh, an action which is a blue one. Put there. So two crystals for blue. So yeah. spend two, two crystals, crystals to do a blue action. Blue action. Yep. The blue action is harvest to harvest one. one. I'm going to harvest the food. Okay. Okay, then I get down to here. Yep, so step three, free step actions. Step three, free actions. You can complete so can one of complete your commercial packs. I complete that pact to spend one resource, so which... Any I'll one resource. Probably do the wood. And two food. And two food. Okay, so what's the benefits of that tile? The benefits are uh, a weapon. And a weapon, so you take a weapon. You get one space up on the commerce track. Uh, and three points. And three points. One, two, three. Okay. Zooming into the lead. Uh, well, stop in, everybody. Stop hey, in. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Um, okay, good. So, uh, and that that will be me done. So I'll just choose these. Yeah. No battles. No. No. Culture no, okay, no battles. Oh, we do need to reveal this. There you go. Two metal there. That's all. Right, just Thank waiting. You. In okay. Florida. I'm taking a yeah, not pretty great action. I move to here, which puts that down, takes a crystal. Yep. But I have no units. Sorry, I have no units in any. Shrine location. Yeah, I'm just going to show so. you my board because we haven't seen this action yet. But action number seven is actually different for every player. It is to gain resources based on the number of shrines that they control. We've not really talked about shrines yet, but for me, uh, I would get one metal for every shrine that I control. Uh, for you, it's, it's wood. wood. For Egypt, it's food. 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 Yeah. And for Babylon, it's gold. It, it's gold. Now, if you look at um, my board here this is a shrine so everybody's home board has two shrines on it and if we just take a quick look at Gaia you will see that the two spaces of Atlantis they are double shrine spaces each so yeah control of shrines is important not just for that action as well but for this as well mm. so the scoring condition for this war shrine here in this game is you're going to get points based on how many shrines you control at the end of the game Okay. Over to you. But you did that for a particular reason? Yes. Mm. Right, okay. We'll see why next time. I'll see why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to here, putting a cube on here, and getting me two mana crystals, and I am going to harvest from two different areas. Well, obviously, I'm going to harvest from this area, because that gets me three gold, and I'm also going to harvest from here and get a metal. <coughs> so one metal, three gold, I've got three mana crystals. I've not had three mana crystals for ages. Do I want to do something else? That is the question. Um, Always. <laughs> done all this in the wrong order, Gromit. Um, yeah, no, I think, uh, I think I'm good. I don't think I'm going to do a mana action. I don't have a free action. So... Yeah, that's my go-done. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to move up there. Block that off, get a crystal. So this is number two, the move. Two moves. So one goes in there. Oh, we, we got another fight. There. We're going to have it. Yeah. 
Someone's having it. So are you doing your mana action I'm not first? doing a mana action. Okay, free actions. It's free actions I can't do, so no. Okay. So we're gonna be we're gonna be having a fight with another ancient civilization. Mm -hmm. So plays your card. You should reveal that. Dunk. Yep, there we go. So you've played a long spear, so it doesn't cost anything to play the card. And it's going to give you three strength. Now, this is one of your lesser gods. A lesser yep. god has two strength. So you're guaranteed to win this fight. So if you flip the tile over. Okay, so it's strength three. So you've beaten it, which means you get these rewards and these rewards. So it's one point up on mm. War. Warfare. the warfare track. Yeah. Three um, points. It's three points for the long spear that you played. One, two, three. And you gain either a wood or a gold. I'll take the gold. Worth noting, not technically guaranteed because there are events certain actions like uh, cards that might say count you've got a strength one there right. is yeah. but that strength four yeah. so he still would have done it So there, and you know there are no strength five ones yeah there's no okay. strength five one with that ability okay there we go so that goes back in my supply that goes back to the supply that tile Take just that. keep it yeah sure you've done it and and then claim culture but I can't no. so happy happy times Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm oh, going to choose action number three, which that's gives good. me three movement, which is oh, that's good. one, two, oh, three. So close. That's yeah. the three move. I know what I should have done. Okay. Bad pull. So. <laughs> Inefficient pull. Inefficient mind. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in, 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 I, I'm inefficient pull. You can't be inefficient pull. Um, I've claimed that title. That is mine. <laughs> That's mine. Okay. So uh, I've, I have surrounded this, but That's this comes at five. the end. Yeah. Right. Okay. Absolutely. So, very end of your time. Can I just say something though? Why yeah. couldn't you wait until I've come to your area yeah. so I could claim it as well? Why? Why are well, you being well, greedy? Because I don't want you in my. I don't want you in my uh, world. Thank you. Come on. Nice as nice as you are, <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> Zeus. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, now I'm going to um, do what I tried to do last time, which is to spend a crystal. Yep, yeah, and two wood. And two. Oh, I won't get the wood to the end. No. Okay, so I won't do that. Uh, so what I will do is stop at that point. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at the end of your turn, you claim the culture. Uh, and now I claim the culture. So that goes from the game, and you get two wood. Two wood. Right, Rob. Okay, so I move from here to here, which places a marker in there and gets me another crystal. The action is I walk him through a portal to here. Oi! Yes! My world is being, <laughs> it's being taken. And then I spend a crystal and two wood to drop a settlement down. What? Here. We're all friends, Paul. And then, Shocking. because Goodly I've now sense. surrounded them, I flip this out the way. Yep, and we've got another lesser god. I bring down the lesser god of Marduk. Oh, yeah. Replacing him. And the effect is... Marduk has an immediate ability. Every On one city, on each location on the map, on each planet, yep. I place a follower. Right. Wow. Wow, sir. That's nice. Gosh. Yeah, that's why I took the subpar action to go to there, which didn't do anything. To include your home as well? No, no, because it's only one city per planet. Oh, per planet. Right. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense then. That was definitely not part of my plan. Yeah. Hello, buddy. Hello, let's be friends. Diplomacy missions all around there. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm going to diplomatise him right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So we need a new plan. So I'm going to move over to here. I'm going to put a cube on here. And I'm going to use this market action. Um, and I am going to spend... What am I going to spend? I'm going to spend one gold to take one food. Oh, and did I move on the hand? Shaking. Oh, we didn't. No. Uh, no, because you you've not come off the track, so definitely not. There you, there you go. go. So I've got one on the warfare and one on the... Warfare. I think we moved you up on the warfare, didn't we? No, he's not. Oh, no, we didn't. All right, okay, yeah, forgot to do that. Yeah, um, so it should be one on each. War, warfare, research, and. I'm going to spend. There's a spend. good thing on this, though, because you can recount yeah, pretty what, much. What, what you should be, or where you should be on and the track. And then there's got a hard trigger. Um, do I want to. 
do the thing. What's that? That's probably five, five movement for the upgraded red action time. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I've never even looked at it. Oh, wow. That's yeah, that is epic. that is pretty good. That's kind of what you need for the center, isn't it? Because you've got to get around these okay. hard barriers. I'm, I'm going to do it. I am going to do a manor action. I'm going to spend one crystal. I'm going to spend two gold. I'm going to upgrade action number one because it's adjacent to where I am. That moves me one space up on the technology track and okay. I get to portal two. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to portal... Oh. We're going to portal over there. What? I've got a commercial there pact. There was no, no invitation sent. I have a commercial pact with you. <laughs> the, the, the invite was inferred. Hello. Yes. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm also... Going to portal to. Are you coming over? You might as well come and play, aren't you? I was behaving myself this time and actually staying. I think I am. Uh, staying. I think for, I'm going to portal there for now. Yeah, some shrines, do you? All I hear is I was being ah. weak and showing yeah, myself exactly. vulnerable. Yes. Ah. Thank you. Okay. That was naughty. So that was my manner action. Did I move up on the technology track? I think I did. I did. Right. Now my free action. I've got this commercial pact. Yeah. It cost me a crystal, a food, and two metal. And because I'm on that planet, I get all of the rewards printed. Nice. So that's two spaces up on there. It's four points. Four. It is a weapon card, and it is a portal. I got two mini portals. Um... You might as well go to Rob's. I mean, literally, he's the, you're everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Why not indeed? It's brilliant. Yeah, I'll, I'll go there as well. Right, okay. So that is that done as a free action. So at the end of my turn, because this is, this culture token is now surrounded with units, it's taken it and we both get two points each. There you go. Thank you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Now I didn't take a weapon, did I? No, I, I haven't think, taken a weapon. I think yet. You did, so no. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my weapon. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that one. Okay, you'll go. Okay. There's a reason for my madness here. What was I gonna do? Yeah, that was it. So I'm gonna move over to number eight, which is settlement income. Yeah, which for you you get now. two followers and two points. And I get an extra follower because of Oh, because Hera. of uh, Hera's ability. Yeah. yeah. So you get three followers. Wow. So two are going in Gaia. Mm -hmm. And one in my home. Alrighty. Second reaction. One cube, two gold. To upgrade my portals. The one I've just done. Yeah, do I? I was going to do that, but because you've done something, <laughs> it's changed my mind. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade my movement instead. Yeah, okay. number four. Yeah, which gives so me... it moves you one space up on the technology track, and yeah. you immediately get four movement. four movement points. Nice. Tell you what, you mind on my deployment? I'll put, put that on there. there instead. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, and then I'll do the four movement. So. Uh, one, two, one, two three. three. Yeah. Which then covers. And then I've got one extra, right? Uh huh. Which, to be fair, I don't think I want to do at this stage. Okay. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so, manner action. So that was my second. Oh, that was, that was manor my manner action. action. And then. Free actions? Free actions. No. No gods not or this commercial stage. packs? No. No battles? No battles. So you get that. So that ability is you can remove one of your cubes and move it to a new space. Yeah. Gaining the crystals for where you move it. Possibly that one. And I will... I'm going to put it there. Right. Now it's yeah. go. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to jump to action number two. Mm -hmm. 
do two movements. Two movements. Which is going to be here and here, I think. Um, yeah. Then for my free action, I'm going to spend your mana action. My mana, my mana action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend one crystal, crystal two, two wood. wood to build a settlement. To build a settlement. So any territory you control that doesn't have a settlement. There. There you go. Not surprised. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying yeah. to do that for about three turns. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Free action. You got that. Um, free actions. Summoning gods and commercial uh, pirates. Don't have any of those. No. Done. Uh, that's it. Okay. okay. I move to here, dropping a cube as I go. Uh, that gets me. I have four. Three, three uh, followers yeah. and two points. Three followers and two points. Two points. And then I'll drop a follower on each location. So you could have put them all in one if yep. you wanted to. However, you want to do it. Right. I'm done. I'm no mana actions. Nope. None of the other stuff. Nope. Got lots of harvesting coming. Okay, I'm going to move to here. She puts a cube on there. Gets me a crystal. And I get one metal for each shrine that I'm currently in control of. Which I believe is three. One, two, three. I get three metal. Done. Right, okay. Mana action. No, I don't think I'm going to do a mana action. No free actions. That's me done. Yeah, okay. we're all good. So I'm going to harvest. Crystal. And I shall harvest two food, depleting one of these. Okay. And I'll do two iron or metal from there. Yep. <clears throat> I won't do any mana actions, mm -hmm. but I will fulfill my commercial, commercial pact. pact. It costs you one crystal and two food. So one crystal, two food. Get you a free settlement. Two points and one space up on the commerce track. Is it the commerce track? Yes, it's the commerce track. Yeah. And this is just going to be anywhere for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go here. Why not? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go to here, which gives me a cube to give me two crystals. I'm going to harvest in two, two territories, territories which so you get food. three food from there, and which covers up one of them, and you get another food there. from there. So, so four one, food. Two, three, four food. Okay, and then my manor actions, I'm going to pay um, two, uh, no, uh, I had this planned. Oh, that's, that's really sad. I had this worked out uh, so that it wouldn't take long. Um, and, it, and I've forgotten the plan. You have to remember the plan, Paul. Um, yes, it was to... Uh, I'm going to... I want to score this um, because... Am I right in saying that if... Uh, when I complete that pact, you I can then two portal... Portals. Yeah, two portals. At, the same, at that point. Yes. Yeah, fine. Okay. So, which could then cause a battle which in could, the subsequent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and I was going to pay these for. I'm sorry. Uh, I was going to produce. That's what I was going to do. So I'm going to pay three mana crystals to activate a red to tile. To activate a red tile, which is number eight, which gets you two followers. Which gets me two followers. So one goes there. Yeah. One goes there. Okay. Okay. Then I will free action. do my free action, which is to um, complete my pact yep. using three food. Three food, wow. Okay, which gives me a portal of two. Yep. So I can send... And one space up on the commerce strike. And how many points? Three points. One, two, three. So that goes to there. That's one. You could have just put that there when you did the... I did do one there. Yeah, but you, you can do them however you want. When you get new followers, you can put them oh, wherever I could have you put, want. I to. could have put two. I could have put you both could have of put them both there. in here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so you've got two portals. So, so I've got two portals to use. Okay. Thank you. Um, and this is strength two. Three. 
three because of Asaur's ability. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Now, how many cards? How many cards? So, number of cards in hand is public. Four. Information. Two, two, good to know is two purchased reds so. and two. All right. The two standard blues. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, come on, let's go do this. Let's take. Let's take one, two. Into this move. Okay. So you've used your portal action yep. from fulfilling a commercial pact to move these two into here, which means step four, we have a fight. Now, a fight between two players is resolved slightly differently. Uh, the attacker still plays one card. It has to be red, but it goes face down. The person being attacked plays one card, which may be red or blue. They have a choice of whether they play a red or a blue card. Both cards are then revealed. You then have to pay for your cards, and then you resolve the text on the cards. And who wins in a tie? Attacker wins ties. So the other thing to keep an eye out for is not only how many cards people have in hand, but how much metal people have. So Rob has no metal. Yeah. Which means if you had any of those super powerful weapons, he can't actually play them. Um, Paul only has one metal, so we know he can't play the whatever it is. The, the big, hammer. The big or hammer or, Yeah. Okay, so we're currently each two each. It's moment. currently, yeah. no, he's three. Rob's three because three. of his special ability. Oh, because of his special ability, yeah. yeah. From the lesser gods. Three, two to Rob. Plus what you do. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we have a card played there. Yeah, we have a card played there. Okay, so reveal cards and pay the costs. One. One metal. And a win. Any two, any two resources, which is oh, the only two resources you've got. Very nice. So the ballistic, so you end up with the strength of six. Rob ends up with the strength of seven, nice. which means Rob was yep. won the fight. So yep. what happens is, uh, yeah, so the ability of the ballista is your opponent's god strength is one, but you didn't have any gods there. So that card goes back to your supply, and Rob, you get the benefits for winning, which is one on the warfare track. Yep. And, and three points. Yeah. And then his guys get dumped back. So, his... yeah, when you lose a fight... The losing side's units all must go back to their home central, their their home territory, which is this one, which is there. So okay. they will go back there, yep. and that blue card goes back in your hand. Yep. Yeah, I've forgotten that you had the blue one. Yeah, they had the blue shield, yeah, and I had the same thing. So I should have any resources. It's yeah. any resource, yeah. isn't it? Okay. Any resource. Hold on. Yep. And that was good for us. They drained each other of resources <laughs> and wasted <laughs> their time. Yeah, no, we. Well, I didn't take my teach me from being a warmonger. So I move to there, dropping a cube down as I go. Domination that's... action for you. You've got four settlements. Yep. So it's one, two, three, four. Already ahead. Uh, uh, no bonus actions, no special actions. Back and, to you. And Ishtar is probably going to be coming out to play fairly soon. I'm going to move to there. To probably play. next turn. you got two lesser gods and Ishtar. Yeah. Nah, I'm being very inefficient with my cubes. So I get two of those and I harvest two areas, two territories. So we will harvest some gold from there and some wood from there. My one wood. wood, one gold. And then I think I'm going to do a mana action. And the mana action that I'm going to do is to build a settlement. So I spend that, I spend two wood, and I'm going to build this settlement. And it's going to go... Oh, should have revealed that. Keep forgetting to reveal these. Um, yeah, it's easy to figure out. So what does yeah. that mean? Any resource. Any, any, any one resource. Any one resource. Yeah. Cool, cool. It's not great. Because that's any two resources. Much better. Um... Where's it going, Paul? Well, you're a little bit further away from me on this planet, so I think I'll go there. <laughs> That's a bit menacing. There's a little, little bit, yeah, there's a bit too few, there's too, <laughs> too many units around. Apparently I'll have um, to spread them around a bit. As you yeah, do. then again, Paul's just been attacking and not done very well and lost all of his cards. Uh, well, I've lost, yeah, I lost one card. I do still have two red cards. Yeah. Yeah, you're only keeping your god cards separate to your weapon cards. Well, weapon you can C. you can tell them from the backs. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. separate separate oh, okay. right now. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I've, got, I've got three weapons. Yeah, okay, That's a good yeah. point. Yeah, 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 do that. It's just easily obvious then. So, how many weapon cards have you got? So, I've got two. You got two weapon cards. 
in total? No, I've got four weapons. You've got cards. four weapons, so you've got two red ones, two, two, red, two, two blue. reds, two blue. Yeah. But you've no, you've no actual metal. But I have no metal to pay for the yeah, expensive so ones. Yeah. Some, yeah. Of the, yeah. some, of the, some of the cheap ones. Well, no work. metal, so, so yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I am going to put it down there. It's going to go there. Oh, he's just taunting you now. God, yeah. what? Go and get me. Come on. <laughs> All right. So what was that? That was my second reaction. Uh, I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. So yeah, I'm done. You're good. I'll do something at some point. All right, I'm going to get back here to settlement income. So I get two VPs and I get three followers, three followers. plus one for Hera. Wow. Thank you. That's pretty much all your followers on the Pretty board. much most of them, yeah. Troops are amassing. Okay. They are amassing. Now, do I want more weapons? No, I don't. Don't want more weapons. I'm good. So that's me done. Okay, I'm going to action eight. Drop a cube. Go in the mana. Okay. Uh, now I produce on each of these. Uh, what are you doing? I'm doing action oh, eight. So you get two followers, two which you can followers. put wherever you want to yeah. uh, on your settlements. One, two. Okay. Um, then, okay, I, I will spend two. Oops. I'll spend two mana. Two to crystals, do, yeah, to do, to a, do blue, a blue action. A blue action. The blue action is uh, harvest on one. Okay. Which will be that one. Which gives you three metal. Three metal. And that's it. All done? Yep. Okay, I move to here, completing the Ishtar circle. Yeah. Move them to three. I move these three out to here. Yeah. Okay. So that's your mandatory action. Now no, you've course. got your mana action. Yep. Which I'm not doing. Okay, so now we have your free action. So I'm putting on Ishtar. So Ishtar comes to, into play. Mm. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a look at my, uh, my, my home world here that's being, uh, okay. unfortunately, taken over by... So she she comes <laughs> on, and that triggers two jumps forward on two domination. jumps forward on the domination track, which gets yeah. you two oh, VPs. Oh wow! Yeah, so two naughty. points. Yeah, and then one each. One on each on the other tracks. Oh dear! Oh, that that was mine. Boom, uh, boom! And what's your special ability now? So whenever I gather resources, I take equal to the strength, not equal to the number of right. risks available. Okay. And then we have a little... Step four, we have a fight. So yep. you have to play a red card. Now, now your strength one. at the moment is three, four, five, six, seven, seven uh, eight. So yeah, you have to play a red card. Yep. Um, but you're going to win the fight. You can't put... So it's three. Take a steal. So you get you get the metal from this. Two warfare and three VPs. Two warfare and three VPs. Yeah. One, two. Two warfare, three. three VPs. And the dagger goes back to your supply. Nice. Ah, Rob. Yeah. Rob, Rob, Rob. Now, at the end of your turn, this is now surrounded by units. Okay? Yeah. So this this culture token here is now surrounded. By, so all, all three of it. us get that. We all get one, one follower. Okay. My last one. Ah, that's very nice. Um, let's pop him over there, I think. Oof. Right. Okay. So you're all done. Yep. Right. So, my go. Okay, I've got plenty of mana. Let's, um, yeah, let's do that one. So I'm, I'm going to move over there and repeat that one. Yeah, that's a very silly idea. I'm going to move, oh no, because I can't upgrade because I don't have the gold. Ah. And where's the mining? The mining's all the way over here, or the one that I'm on, which I can't do that again. Yeah, I've definitely not done this as efficiently as I would have liked. And it's an interesting puzzle. It is. Right, I'm actually going to zoom all the way over here. I'm just going to get my settlement rewards, which is two points and two followers. Um, and I will put those followers here. Okay. As a manor action. No, no manor actions, no battles, no culture tokens. I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to move over here to... Cross that off and do my dominance. 
So I'll get four points. Get four settlements on the board, so you get four. One, that two, two VP three, token was nearly mine. So, so close. close. So close. So close. Um, so that's done. Pretty simple. Um, mana. Don't think I'm going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I will reveal my lesser god. Okay, who's coming out? So who's coming out is going to be Athena. Okay. So Athena... I need to figure out where I'm going to put her. So Athena has an immediate ability. First of all, you move up one space on the warfare, right? Yeah. Your settlements immediately produce one resource of the type of the territory that they are in without exhausting it. So, steel, metal. So you get metal from here, you get food, food from here. Wood, wood. You get wood and wood. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. And then I'm going to... So Athena arrives here. Yep. No battles, no culture tokens. No, all good. We're all done. Egypt. All right, Egypt. He's going to portal. Drop a cube. So a portal of one. Portal of one. Uh, actually, I think we can bring one back here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then... Um, Give me a mana, uh, and then that's me done. I think. Okay. Thank you. So I jump to here. Uh -huh. I mine here for nine gold and here for seven wood. Wow. Nine. <laughs> Ops broken oh, again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can I? The, the the reason for going there was to reduce re release this chat. Okay. Brilliant. Would I'll you mind? Do that quickly. Quickly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just take one. What's this one? Settlements have strength one. So your settlements now have strength one. Okay. Cool, cool. And you move up on the commerce track. Okay. Right. So, so then I'm now anyway, back Rob's to my using his ability of. So I took I took nine nine gold and seven seven, seven wood. wood. Ouch. And then <laughs> I spend one crystal and two gold to upgrade. Yep. I upgrade this one, because I'm adjacent now, to gain one on the gear track. Yep, on technology. And move four. Four wow. movements. So, one, four. Two, three, yeah. four, yep. Free action is next. I don't think you have a free action, don't so we do action. have a fight. So I play so the long spear. So that's one on warfare and three UEP. So, so you're, you're playing the long spear, so we reveal bit. this. Yep. So you've won, yep. obviously. So you move up one on the warfare track, you get three points, and you get a metal, and you get a so wood as well. Warfare, yep. three points. Very good. Yeah. Boom, boom. And the long spear uh, goes. Grok in this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when you send him the... I, I meant to send him the wrong rule book. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Why did you do that? Should have sent him the rule book for Monopoly Exeter Edition. Oh, I, get two <laughs> I thought we agreed that this one's Rob wasn't going to win this time. I know. <laughs> we try our best right so that's it that's your turn done right okay so I'm moving there got two movements so this settlement is going to move taking a unit with it oh of course you can do that ah. I, I can do that and then this one's going to move to here so that's my two movement um, I can't do the upgrade I'm short on a wood. Oh, and I don't have the two gold anyway. Um, so, yeah, the only thing I can do is to take weapons. Which I'm probably going to have to do at some point. So I think I'll do it now. I will spend one crystal and two metal to take two weapons. And then that's... Yeah, that's it. I'm not doing anything else after that. I will take my two... Weapons. I will take that one, and I will take that one. Okay. Done. You all good? Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go over here. Get a mana crystal for doing that. I'm going to do the uh, commercial pact. I shall take this one. Ready for some point in the future. I will spend those two crystals 
to do a blue action, which will be my movement. Yep. My graded movement. So four. four movement. So, one, two, three. We're going to have some fighting with some Atlanteans nah, soon. Maybe. So you get these yeah. super special you know artifacts. Pile them in. It's all in the preparation. Okay. Um, can't do that. I haven't got a guard. No fights, no culture. Right. Next. Pull. Okay. Jump over this cube to give me two crystals. Two crystals. Uh, then I can produce in two can harvest areas. two territories. So, yeah, harvest that one for two metal. Two metal there. This one for two, two food. food. Okay. Then I'm going to spend uh, two crystals. Uh, one crystal, big pun, one crystal and two metal. Take some more weapons. Take some weapons. Yep, yeah, restock the armory. Restock the armory, exactly that. I'll have one of those and. No free actions or battles. Um, no, there so aren't. I think no. you're done. I'm done with that. Thank you. Okay, I move along to here, taking two crystals. I mobilise four units, which is going to be one, two, three. Oops. Stand up straight, boys. Uh, so, although you control this territory here, you need units to get these tokens. Okay. And I'm going to move him to there for four. Mm -hmm. Okay, no fighting happens. But then spend a crystal, two gold, yep. to do the upgrade. The upgrade is to upgrade this one, which requires a wood and an iron. Yep, moves you two right. spaces up on the technology track. Flips this. And gets you to do three harvests. Three harvests. So, oh, so yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven iron. Seven metal from here. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, These flip over when you get to ten. One, two, more gold. Just two? Yeah, just two. We've only got two left. But then one, two, three, four, five, six food. Yeah. And that's how you play the Babylonians. Mm. They love their resources by the looks of it. Yeah. Got me my two gear jumps, didn't I you? I did. I should have at least four on the... Uh, one, two, three, four on the gear? Okay, I've got your three. I, I, I thought I'd give you two for purple. that one. Oh, you're purple. Sorry. How many times have you... So just how many... Yeah, that's a good point. Let's just check. I might have moved you up accidentally. I've done two, so mine's right. Paul, how many um, technology things have you flipped over? Just the one. So I should have one... Two, three. So you haven't done any of these. Are you sure? I have five. Upgrades. You're talking about upgrades? Yeah. yeah. Have you done none? No, but I did have some did for you? scoring. So you should be five. I should be five because I've got one, two, three, no. four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So I, I've moved I, you up three. I don't think so I've, got any, you've got any. I don't think I've got any. I've I've moved, you've, you've, I might have moved, moved all yellow all yeah, 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 yeah. times. Yeah. Uh, that's a few. <laughs> uh, hands, I should have. Yeah, best two. watch what I'm doing. Two hands. You got two. I got two hands. Uh, yeah, I've got one, three hands. Uh, one, two. Did you do a commercial pack? No, no, no sorry, two. I'm looking at yellow again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> purple, purple. You can push purple. me around. You can push me around the track if you like. That's yeah, good. Sure. That'd be um, very helpful. One, two. How many flags am I? Oh, I've got a load of them because I've been taking that action. Tricky, That's the yeah. one that, yeah, that one. That one's okay because we've been watching that one. Yeah. Um, and the swords, yes, the swords look right. You're, you're way up on the swords. It was just the gears you were moving yellow rather yeah. than me. Okay. Think okay. We fixed it. Yep. Super super. If anybody watching spots us moving the wrong counter, please let us know. Right, and you're all done. All done. Oh dear. All right. So I'm going to move to here finally get a god out like an hour late get a crystal uh, domination is based on the number of settlements I've got three one two three and then I don't do any unlucky stuff but I do summon a lesser god I think because it's fun we're going to summon Loki so Loki moves me up one on the technology track, but Loki's special ability is every time I'm in a battle, I actually choose two weapon cards, reveal them, and then at that point I decide which one I'm actually going to use. 
I think we're going to put Loki here. Okay. Um, no battles. No culture tokens. I'm done. How many cubes have you got left, Rob? Four. Ugh. Yeah, so that's an end game mm. trigger as well. Running out of cubes. Running out of cubes. That triggers the end of the game. I've only got four left as well. And if Rob ends the game now, well, he's probably won. <laughs> he's doing really well. Okay, so I'm just going to move around the outside of the ring to number six. Do a harvest for one. I'm going to pick the food. So I get two food. Uh, got an exhaustion token, Paul, just for that. And oh, two food. That's sweet. I know. It sounds really pitiful. It's your <laughs> six, like eight, or whatever. Mm. Um, I'll be over here just throwing you know, money at the problem. It's, it's, it's got to be done, hasn't it, really? I am going to do a manner action of uh, build a settlement. Let's take the last one. Let's plot got all your settlements out. Nice. Uh, yeah. And... As a free action, I'm going to fulfill a commercial pact. So that's okay. two food. That's one metal. Get you a mana crystal. Get my and mana crystal. Portal. And three points. I'll uh, let you do your own points because I'll probably move yeah. <laughs> There, one, two, three. And trade. Or commercials. And then the portal, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just... Just a double check behind me. Yep. So each of the non... Um, these top three. Yeah, well, I'll explain this now while we're Different looking at it. So at the end of the game, you will get four points if you're ahead on the track and two points if you're second. Mm -hmm. And then for each track, you get your points based on where you are multiplied by the condition. So this first condition is for every shrine you're in control of, to a maximum of five. Mm -hmm. This one is for every two territories you are in control of, to a maximum of five. And this is for every three units you have on the board. And okay. a unit is uh, basically a miniature. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Are you done? All done? Yeah, it's all good. Okay. I'm going to jump over this cube to give me just more. Two you more. have racked up so many crystals in this game using that ability. Yeah, yeah I've spent just, all as well. And I've just not used <laughs> yeah. any cubes. So you're you about getting crystals, aren't you? You're yeah. about resources yeah. by the looks of yeah. it. Okay. I think I'm not quite sure what I'm me. about. Yeah. But. Getting her out, I think that's. You know, uh, so move two. Getting one, some very two. efficient resource generation using Then I can so. pay. Three crystals. If I can get followers out easy. To do out. action three, which is a move three. One, two, hey. three. Give him a kick in. All right. And uh, then we have a fight. So you've moved into into there. Into there. Oh. So what have we got? I've got two, because oh. I have two followers. I've got two, three, four, five. And you've got five. Yeah. With... And how much metal have you got? Okay. Got plenty of metal. Three cards. So you you oh. have to play a card. You've got two first. So it's interesting because if I lose, my, my followers come home, but my settlement actually stays there. Yep. But it's classed as besieged, which a besieged settlement mm -hmm. means that uh, it can't control the territory that it's in, and I can't deploy more soldiers there, but it stays on the board. So we both play cards. Cards are revealed. You have to pay two metal. I've played a slingshot. <laughs> that so was a waste you, of metal, wasn't you it? You <laughs> win, and you get yep. one up on the warfare track. Yep. Move the right piece. And how many points? Three victory points. Three victory points. Um, and I get a resource. So that, that card's gone. That goes back to my hand. I get a resource of yours, of my choice. I will take... Um, I'll take the gold. Gold? One down. Cool. And then you retreat. And then these two have to go back... To here. Where was the settlement? Stays there. It's, okay. it's now besieged. So you can't deploy into it anymore. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All done? Yep. Okay, I move along here. So that gets me two more crystals. So they're not in slots. Okay. And you take a commercial pact. Which one would you like? I will take the one, the middle on the right, the one that needs oh. a purple planet. Yeah. That's the one. So that means you've got to control the territory in Gaia. Which I do. Which you do. Which we're all good, yep. aren't we? I'm going to get everything I need for that one. Are oh, you going to do it straight away? Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do some other things first. Then I'm going to do the free action, which is to do the... Manor action. Manor action, sorry. Yep. The manor action, which is to spend a crystal and two gold to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade this one, spending a 
wood and a metal. Yes, yeah, so that's another two steps up on the technology on the track. track. Purple technology, got it right. Yep. Yep. And I go up five Ooh. on. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So this is this is how you play the game. This is that's me. Two VP. What we should have done. I've got an idea. What we should have done is we should have got together this afternoon. And we should have said, "How do we beat Rob?" Yeah. <laughs> to practice. So to know what we're doing. Right? To know what we're doing. That's yeah. what we should have. That's what we should have done. Two VPs, please. That would have been a really good idea. Because <laughs> I have a purple planet and I'm on Gaia, so yep. I spend a crystal and three food. One, Dude. two, three. One more on the domination track. track. Uh, that's is that move, move a cube. Let's move a cube. I'm going to move this cube. Um, it's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we see how the game should be played. <laughs> Once Rob's gone home, we'll play again. We'll, we'll play, play again. again. <laughs> I'm going to put it here, actually, and take another crystal. And then, so one on there, so that's two on the handshake. Two on the handshake track. Okay, and, and three more. Another please. three points. There we go. Right. Are you finally done? Yep, yep. Good wow. for now. Sure. Good for now. Wow. Right, okay. Yeah, I've waited way too long to get Odin out. <laughs> I know, I, I thought... Oh, I'm mine's get... just sat there. I got mine out that, really early, didn't I? That would have helped me in Zeus that is going to come out and yell. Yeah. So I'm going to move to here, and I've got three movement points, and I've no idea now what I want to do, because... Um, so we're going to move this to here, with this, and with this. So that's two movement points. Um... And I think I'm just going to move that one to there as well. So, second action things. I am going to spend a crystal and two gold to upgrade this. So that moves me up one on the technology track. And I get to take any two resources that are different. So I will take a, a metal and a wood. And that's my mana action. Uh, I don't have a free action. There aren't any battles, but we now resolve this at the end of my turn. So both of us do get a mana crystal. Oh, do we? And me. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Oh. That, that's why I moved there. Um, let me change my mind on that. I probably wouldn't have moved there if it weren't for that. Yeah, after telling you that rule, I then forgot it. <laughs> uh, I'll just move all the I do it all the time. <laughs> right. Is there any one one rule for you, one rule for me. Yes, yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, the game yeah, ends when one player moves one. one of their tokens across okay. the track, which you could do very soon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I'll next would, turn. I would yeah. wait if I was you. So this might be the last turn. This might be the last round of the game. Oh, really? Yeah, because if Rob doesn't upgrade, <sighs> and why wouldn't he? Because he's easily won this. Yeah, you could just shut this down, couldn't you? Yeah. So settlements do count for culture tokens. Oh, so you could have moved there. So we've them. just had that confirmed. Uh, that is slightly different from what it says in the rule book, but that's do you want what, to do that? Then? That's what we'll go with. Yeah, because I get that as well, don't I? Because of my uh, yeah. Zeusy ability. Thank yeah. you. Okay. If this is likely to be the last go, then we got to go all in, haven't we? Uh, I think it probably is. Yeah. So I'm going to move to my move three. Get another crystal. Oh, wrong box. There we go. So one. Two, three. That's five strength going in. Is that right? That is five strength going in. Two lesser gods and a follower. Oh, that's this is a bit risky. Um, we'll see what happens. And so that's the main action. Mana action. Mana action. I'm going to do a spend three for a red action, yeah. and then do dominance. So you've got five settlements. And five spaces up. Just because that's a lot of victory nice. points. It is. Um, so that's good. I swear I could do something else, but maybe I didn't do it. And that's fine. Can't do any of that. Okay. Three actions. And it's combat. So now we have a battle here. Battle. So we're fighting against Please. this ancient civilization. Please. Uh, these count as gods. So if you have any card effects which affect gods, uh, then it affects them as I well. I wish. So you play a red card from your hand. That one. And now we reveal this, and it is cancel your weapon's special effect. It doesn't have one. Okay. Oh. It's just a brute. Yeah. Right, so they've got seven. I've got seven. And you've got seven. You okay. paid for it? Yeah. But attacker wins ties. Wow. Okay, well so a few things happen. You get three steps up on the warfare track. You get three points, and that card's gone. 
You get two wood and one metal. That's nah. a really tough one. That's gone. Um, and you have defeated one of the areas of Atlantis. So, at the start of the game, we picked three of these at random. I'm not going to get to use it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get, get to pick one. You get I? to choose one of those. Are they there? Sorry. And then at the end of your turn, this gets allocated. So both of you two get two metal. Okay. I think it has to be that because I think the game's ending. Okay. So, yeah, so there goes so I'll show everyone what we've got. Um, I can't remember if it's supposed to be kept secret or not. We'll, we'll play it so that it's face up. I can't quite remember if it's supposed to be face up or face down. But yeah, play it face, face up. up. It's all good. Um, so it's the Scarab Amulet again. Okay. Just because it's an end game scoring yeah. trigger. So at the end game score, you can choose two tokens and move them mm -hmm. one space ahead on the tracks. Thank okay. you. Okay. All done. I think that's. Uh, no, no. We've got the. Did you get the two metal? You need two metal. Two metal. Two metal from yeah. the tile. Two metal from the tile. I was, was going to say there was a culture, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. 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 Two I metal. missed that. Yes. Okay. And that would be revealed. That would be revealed. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Good to go. I'm going to go to produce. I'm actually going to place a cube this time. I mean, you've only got like five on the board. <laughs> I know. Ridiculous. Just jump over them and move them around. Up. Okay, so uh, I can I can produce on two territories. You can harvest two territories. Uh, harvest. I can harvest two territories. Get the terminology right. Uh, two gold. Get two gold for there. And um, uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I'll have the I will I will have the one of those. Get one metal. Yeah. One metal. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to pay um, a crystal and two gold to upgrade, which I realised now at the end of the game that I should have done a lot earlier. Upgrade this tile. Don't think you can. Oh, because it's not adjacent. It's not adjacent, and you need a wood and a metal remember, to upgrade remember the red this ones. Naughty rule. Yeah. Naughty, naughty rules. Naughty rules that stop me from doing things. Okay, I'm going to upgrade something. <laughs> oh, I my am entire plan going to work. upgrade something. It oh, all fell apart. It has. Oh no! I'm going to, <laughs> let's let me just have a look underneath here and sneak what this does. That does a move four, and this does yeah. a portal two. Because I definitely need to go up one, don't I? At the moment, I'm not scoring at all on that track. No. So I need to upgrade one. So I'm going to upgrade the portal. Okay. Okay. I go up one. Go one on the track. On the track. <laughs> and you get to do two portals. Ah. And I get to do a portal two. Right. Did I spend the gold? I did. Yes. I get to do two portals. So, um, doesn't really matter, really, is it? Let's go over. Let's go do some fighting. Oh, let's let's go over. Yeah, why well, don't we? Hello. It, it's worth points. It's worth points. Hello. Why are you being naughty? Right. After all this time to be fair, of peaceful negotiations, we've we've been all right, haven't we've we? We've been very good. Yeah, How many been... cards do you have? I have uh, two. Two. Can't confirm if they're blue or red, but I think <laughs> you know. Have you, have you got, any, got any resources? Though? <laughs> You've got some resources. Got a lot of resources. Oh, right, resources. Okay. So, okay. okay, so um, three. So you one with a three, are you? Yeah. So I'm, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do. I got, I got plenty of metal. And heavy metal okay, man. So you both played a card. So you're likely to be. Uh, don't no. Uh, no both play a card first. Oh, quite, sorry. Yeah. So I thought you. Nah, I'm still on. Okay. Go on. Cards are revealed. So yeah. you win the fight. I thought you were going to go heavy. Pay one that. on the warfare track. I've got and three points. Oh, oh. That's my shrine, you man. And you steal a resource. Uh, Taking the shrine. My shrine, yeah. yeah. Don't know if that's why you were doing it. Well, I was, going, I was going to do that next. Um, that, yeah. That's finished with. Might not get it next turn. No, I will no, take I a... That's why I was trying to upgrade that, you see. So I could do that I'll next. take a gold. I don't think it really matters. A gold? Right. Right. Rob, are you going to end the game? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> the reason why my whole plans are cooked up was the end of game has been triggered. You can't attack Atlantis because it locks it out, doesn't because, it? Uh, what I'm about to do. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to move to here. <laughs> going to max myself out on the bottom yeah. track. Yeah. Thought you might. Then it's eight points worth. So it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Then I'm going to do a final trigger action here, which is going to be to upgrade this one, paying two gold, a wood, two and more a on this track. Yep. Which triggers the end of the game. Yep. That's the... Um, two more on there. And movement of five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just a control. 
many areas as you want. Spread as much as you can. Yep. Um, I think just... If I plan it right, I'd put that cube there instead and completed that one and got another god yeah. out, but never mind. I, I think you're fine. I think you've got double I think the points. You're probably okay. <laughs> All no, finished. I'm not winning. I'm, on, I'm behind on the uh, bitch point track. Yeah, <laughs> but one. Sure. <laughs> not in banked points though. So no. my so yeah, the end of the game has been triggered, which means Atlantis cannot be attacked now. Which is the current rules. I don't know if I agree with those rules anymore. <laughs> yeah, I used to like them until I they affected like me. Until, <laughs> until, until, then, until ten minutes ago. Uh, um, so yeah, there's there's very little I can do. But I I was going to summon Odin early on in the game, and I haven't. But I'll do it now. Um, so I get two different resources. Oh, I don't have the pesky, pesky, pesky. Yeah. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do now. I need to take a commercial pact that I can accomplish. So... Which of those commercial packs is actually going to get me anything? Because one space up on the track is enough for me. Although two spaces up gets me gets me tied points. Um, so if I was to take this one, can I actually do that one? It's the one with the most VPs. Ah, I no longer control no the territory longer over there. But <laughs> I'd still get I still get the bottom. You could just that's, get you that. could do four. Yeah, that's, that's probably worth it to me. Yeah. If you care about the cube um, and the gold, probably not. So, yeah, so I'm doing this action because I think I might do a mana action to take a commercial pact. Yeah. Which means I need to take, with this resources, I need to take a wood. And it doesn't really matter what else I take. How many cubes? Uh, you've got three crystals. You're yeah, right. I've got three crystals. You're fine. Then. So I'll just take another food. Okay, so they're the two resources that I've mm -hmm. taken with yep. that action. And since I can't really do a fight now, which is all a bit rubbish. I mean, I could do a fight. Just not with Atlantis. Yeah, come on, bring it on. Because Odin's about to arrive. Well, the other thing you've got to think about is can you take territory off somebody who's going to score lots of <laughs> <laughs> Rob? But it depends on how many territories he's controlling. Do these count for control as on their own? If they're on their own, yes. A okay. settlement on its own in a, in a territory oh, does I've control it. I've got seven, yeah. Does control it. Yeah. So either way, you take one off, you're still scoring the same. Because it's done a double. Yeah, I mean, which one of these? That's not going to be worth much for me. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to do a second reaction. I, I probably should have a battle. So, so I want to upgrade this and try and get away. It, it does actually make sense. I probably could have two battles, actually. So yeah, instead of taking that, I'll take that. I think if I've got the weapons, which I do, I think I can do two battles here. I'll do a double portal. Yeah. yeah, so I will do a manner action of double portal. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, now... Uh, I don't know. How, how many weapons has everybody got in their hand? I've got the grand total of two. You've just got your defensive and, 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 and all the resources. So yeah. you've basically got a long shield, which is which is four. four, plus four. Yeah. 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 Um, same with me. Yeah, same with me. Oh right. Okay. Same for both of you. Yeah. You, you've all you've all got four defensive. You've got enough. Effectively. You've got you've got enough four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm doing double portal. Um, so that means you can move two units, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, absolutely. But actually, it's going to be better than that. This is going to be this is going to be pretty pretty good. This is going to be quite good fun. What what can I take? <laughs> what do you want? What can I take which is actually worth something to me? So what have you got in terms of multipliers? Which is which is shrines. Your best one is but well, shrines is not going to net you much. It's not going to get me much at the moment. Um, but, oh, but the waft of war. If, might if I'm do. looking at an yeah, area yeah. to go into, yeah. Shrines is about the only thing that I can think of. Okay. Strength three, Which strength might actually four, be worth. strength four. Yeah. Three, fines, three, three shrines I control. Okay, so this one's empty. They're There's an empty both shrine. Completely this empty. one's empty. 
Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do But I think is... he wants to have a fight so we can move That's the... true. I am going to portal to go this settlement along with this lesser god because it's yeah. a unit to here. Oh, how dare you. Okay. Nice <laughs> and, then I'm, and then I'm going to portal this settlement with this follower uh, where were we going to go? Here. Yeah. Ishtar, you're going down. Maybe not. Maybe. Okay. We'll see. Right. I think uh, he's, triggered, he's triggered Odin, so he's going to drop Odin's down. Hmm? You've triggered Odin. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so he's dropping his god on one So of them, now one. in the... Right. Okay. Got it. So that was my... Then my minor action was to do the double portal. I see. My free action no. is... He's finally got his god out. Well Odin done. arrives, which Whoa. means my settlements now have strength too. Yep, so also, don't forget all your tracks. They now go up. Yeah, so I gain two on the domination track and one on each of the other tracks. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, right. So let's do uh, the battles in the order of uh, my choice. Order of most fun. <laughs> and we'll do we'll do this one first. So I've actually got four strength. Are these worth at the end of the game? Yeah. Resources plus mana crystals divided by five. Okay. Four strength. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've got four strength there. And, and because I've got Loki, yeah. I can actually play uh, two cards. So I've got four, you've got one. If you played your four, you've got five. What have I got? I've got four. Four. So you just need a two. So I just need a two. Oh, no, you just need a one. You just need a I draw. Just, I just yeah, need a one, don't draw. I? Unless I've played... No, yeah, that's if I've played okay. the long shoot. So I, I will play these two cards. Yeah, well, unsurprisingly, it's slingshot. Because you're just gonna. So I, yeah. I, I choose to play the dagger. Okay. Yeah. So the dagger wins. I get yeah. two points up on this track, and I get three victory points. Nice. Fortunately, that means the dagger's gone. Do you yeah. get a choice of which card you play? I after do. Yeah. You've shown them. Yeah. I still a resource now. You still a resource. What would you like? Um, it makes no difference. It doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> I'll take a steal. Yeah. Okay. The second fight it makes is, a difference to me. Is here. Yeah. Another point, though. So this is interesting. We've actually got Odin fighting against, against Ishtar, but I'm going to smash you over the head with a two-story bungalow. With a building. <laughs> yeah. Does this turn into King of Tokyo? <laughs> <laughs> it's just suddenly turned into a different game. So I've got five, and you've got three. You don't have any bonuses, do you? No. It is just five versus three. Okay. Okay. I've played these two cards. Yeah, I'll just play that. Okay, I'm gonna pop it here. Yeah. Okay. So, which of these do I want to play? Call that a catapult. Catapult strong, isn't it? Um. Yeah. So I'll I'll play the catapult. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I have to spend two metal. But then you don't steal a resource. Yeah, but it didn't matter either way. Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. I gain. So that goes back to my hand. I gain one. Up on the warfare track and three so points for you. There. Yeah. Three points. Three yeah. points. That goes back to you. Yeah. That was the battles. I fall back. To that goes all the way back here. Uh, any culture tokens? Oh, will I actually get some? No. 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 <laughs> right. So that that is the end of the game. So now we go through Bizarre. end of game scoring. Let's do the tracks first. Positions. So positions. So uh, purple. before final scoring. Oh yeah, before final scoring, you get to move. Thank you. Sorry, that one. That one. Right. Okay. So you to a joint first, uh, which means you add together the points and you get three each. So three to purple, three to red. Didn't move them up. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Completely zoned out then. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. Three, three. On this track, it is four to purple and two to blue. Uh, two to blue. And on this track, it's four to red and two to purple. Two to purple, yeah. Yeah. The domination track is 15 to purple. Ugh. Rob. Just calm it, will you? Okay. Seven for red. Seven for me. One for blue. One. And minus eight. Yes. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that works. That doesn't okay. feel nice going right. that way. Next, right. we do these. So, basically, shrine. for every shrine that you control, Rob and JP, you're going to get three points each. You did have some. Me and Egypt are going to get two points each. Two now, so that's six for so me. So six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I've only got two. You've taken I've, that. I've got and one. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six. So I've got one, two, three, 
two, three. Yeah. yeah. So I also get six. Two, three. Paul, yeah. you've got... I've got one. You've got one, so you get two. Okay, the next track is for every two territories you control to a maximum of... Five. Five. Five as a doubles. Multiplier. Yeah. Seven. So, so rounding down. So that's yeah, so you've got three. Multiply by five is 15. Uh, 13. JP? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one, two, three. Three times nine. No, oh, I've only got the time. Sorry, yeah, yeah, rubbish. Yeah, Paul, you're right. in times one. I've got four. You've got four territories, so that's two points. Two points. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's three multiplied by two. We've got six points. Okay, the next track is for every three units on the board, which is basically miniatures. Should be nice. I have 11, so that's three. I get six, please. You get six points. Yep. Because I've got I got eleven, which rounds down to three. Three. And I've got the times two multiplier only for yep. this one. So. Okay. So okay. I've got thirteen, so it'll be uh, four. Four. Four, four times three. Multiply by three is twelve points. Yep. One, two, three, eight, nine, nine, twelve. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two. Two times two, times two is two four. Times two is four. Paul. I've got eight. So four. You've only got eight pieces on the board. Yeah. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight, I've nine, missed ten. these two. Big fun. I've, I've missed these two. Yeah. So seven, an extra eight. two points. Two points. Yeah. Okay. So that's the points for the tracks. Okay. Yeah. We've also done the domination track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? It's resources. Isn't is it? it just resources? Is that it? Let me just check. Uh, uh, first step on the tracks. Unless there's anything on your gods. Card. Oh, gods. Some some gods have end game scoring. No, I didn't get no. Did Did none of us play out. any of those? No. Nope. No. Right. Okay. So it Bad is. Yeah, done It is resources. I got one, Six, two, eight, three, four, five. I got one point. Nine, hey! Eight, five, <laughs> ten, nine, eleven, nine, fourteen, two. nineteen, twenty-one, including crystals. Twenty-one? <laughs> so that's four. another four points. Yeah. Well, nine, nine for one point. So one point. And that is the game finished. Well so, done, Rob. Yeah, well done, Rob. Rob wins as Babylonia well with, with yeah. 73. Uh, second, 56. Third, 36. And then Egypt, 18. In the sand. Yeah. Well, I think we've seen today how the game should be played. Yeah. Um, it is definitely about efficiency of... Well, tell us, tell us how you win. Is it just efficiency of, of actually it doing was, the right things at the right times? I, I, I never took a gain of bonus action here. My, no. my focus was I ran a figure of eight to get these two gods out to boost my strength on the map, mm -hmm. got out Ishtar, and then began doing mass resource gathering because that was the most efficient way. I was getting nine, between seven go. and nine resources yeah. multiple times for a single yeah. action. Although that is purely Ishtar's ability, so that yeah, wouldn't but work for anything. all of the major gods' abilities are really, really good. Mm, yeah. But getting them out early normally rely requires you to on it. Yeah. not sp focus on it and yeah. not get the crystals. I could have got her out several turns earlier, but I wouldn't have had these two out. So that was start. I started here and did a figure of eight. Once I got her out, then I started jumping and leveling up. Yeah, I think I was consistently making sure to hit these, getting. Building up there to get all the gold, which then I was being able to level up every turn. Yeah. I think I wasn't perfect with my resources early on, so there were a few times I missed being able to do an action here, like get more weapons or mm -hmm. level up, because I didn't pick the right one to keep when I was shifting stuff around. I actually thought I was playing it wrong watching you guys, because you were running, <laughs> getting, grabbing those and leaping everyone. Like, Am I doing this right? But I stuck with the plan. Yeah. So I think, I, think I, yeah, I just didn't get going fast enough. Yeah, think, by, by the time you three had all got, multiple pieces all over the board I had like three mm. I, I just wasn't picking the actions in the right order because I was getting focused on what I wanted to do and therefore I was taking the actions I didn't want to do but that damaged my board position massively um, and when you started taking the ancient civilizations that were near me they were the ones that I was going to attack to get points yeah. for them so yeah it all kind of Fell apart for me fairly early on. I jumped. I I didn't do an adjacent movement only once in the entire game. Yeah, that was when I jumped from here 
over to there yeah. and then ran out the outside. Yeah. So that was the only time I didn't do an adjacent movement, which um, is why I've only got three of these left. Well, I've left. only got two cubes left. Yeah, so, four left. But I mean, I did it once as well. So there, were, there was you must have done it at least at least more than once because I I definitely jumped at least once possibly twice. No, I went down a trap trap and only put one down. Ah, uh, right, okay. If I'd been thinking, I'd have put that one when I got this one for free. The move, I'd have put it there, moved to there, got another goal, which would be a few more points because yeah. one of the ones that would got me more yeah. points once on the map. Yeah, and also made an area stronger too. Mm. But that was near. That wasn't no longer relevant at that point. There you go. Mm. So Very that good. that that's how Anunnaki plays. Now um, it is a prototype. The game is pretty much finished, I think. They might tweak a couple of things, um, but obviously prototype components, but it's looking... It, look really it, nice, it is yeah. looking pretty good. I yeah. think the, the, mold, the molds yeah. are finished and, and yeah. everything else. The only thing that I do know about is, as I say, they're going to improve the graphic design of the territories so that when an area is completely exhausted, you can still tell what it is, what, yeah. what type mm. of area mm. it is. Mm. And obviously the rulebook needs a bit of work and some of the card text needs a bit of work. But I'm looking forward to seeing... Because um, I don't know how many other factions that might be included. I don't know whether they would be expansions or anything else. We've obviously got these four. Yep. Uh, there is a solo mode as well, which I don't have the details of yet. There is a solo mode. And if you're playing with two players, you flip this board over to the other side. Yeah, so Gaia is a smaller mm -hmm. map. Mm -hmm. One Atlantis. With two players. With one Atlantis space. That's right. Yeah. Uh, there are also multiple Atlantis artifacts. Atlantis artifacts included in the game. Atlantifacts. At Atlantifacts. <laughs> That's the, the new, uh, new word yeah. for it. I, ha I have four of them. I don't know how many other ones are going to be uh, are going to be included in the game. But have you two got any thoughts on the game after playing it twice now today? The games were very different. Uh, the games were very different. I found <laughs> yeah. it harder in the second game. I found it with four players. Uh, there was so much going on that I decided I would try and concentrate on what I what I what I think what I thought I could do myself. Um, which meant that I didn't interact with uh, with other players, so I didn't go to war like I did in my first game. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. And yeah, <laughs> and and I think as a consequence, I got bogged down in taking, as as you said, actually taking the actions in the wrong order. Yeah, and I think I I I think if I had had longer to think and for my brain to process, what would have been a more uh, efficient way of of going about the board, mm -hmm. I would have I would have. Uh, a second time round, with the same layout of the tiles of the actions, would be different. Would be different yeah. because I think I would I'd be able to work out which way was much more efficient. I mean, the way that our first game played with the layout of the tiles, some of the, there was quite a bit of synergy in a small area, so I was able to to cope with that quite easily. Mm -hmm. But yeah, fantastic. Yeah, the initial layout of these ten action tiles massively changes the game. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's definitely great. feels different, doesn't it? And also yeah. these. Yes, the, the, these tiles here were very different in our last game, and that meant the entire focus was mm. different. Yeah, because yeah. in this game you kind of want to do battle to take shrines. Okay, that 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 kind of works, but in but in our last game that tile was here. Yes, so we needed followers on the board to do this, and settlements were actually worth something mm. for a different. And it was all yep. just it's it's a it's a small yeah. thing, but it has quite it a big impact on it. Yeah. Mm. What are your thoughts, JP? Yeah, for I'm, a couple of games. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Um, I love this action selection mechanism. I think just the puzzle in just this bit alone is very yeah. interesting. And the fact that it is variable is really, really cool. Because yeah. just like you guys have said, it's um, it plays differently every time. This felt different. felt like a different challenge to try and work out. Do I want to jump around? Do I want to do this? And, and, and kind of mix it around. I think for me thinking about the game we've just played should have been a bit more aggressive. Right. Um, with you guys. Because you had the units. I had the units. I had the the, the kind of clout with the, the amount of followers I could get on the board very quickly. And I probably should have took yeah. advantage of that a little bit sooner. Um, you, you did take Atlantis. Yeah. You did capture yeah. Atlantis, which, which was, was always worth nice. it. And it, it got you some extra bits. It got me some extra points. The only thing is I got, it, yeah, I got it too late. And the only... Um, Artifact that was worth getting was the one right. with the end game scoring because the rest I wouldn't have had a, a round I mean, to use. It got you those two shrines. That was worth six points alone for yeah. you. Just just having those two shrines yeah. as well. But so, that, that's yeah. the only thing for me. I probably should have just got a bit more muscly in with a few people. I had the the steel early on to to do it, and I decided against it maybe because I didn't want a war for the rest of the game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's one thing, but you can burn through the resources quite fast. Just by fighting, because yeah, yeah, you're paying it to buy them, you're paying it again to use them. 
but your opponent's defenders with a tall shield can just be throwing other resources into the mix, and you know you can yeah, yeah so, you could quickly burn up momentum because of how limited the resources are. Like in most games, isn't it? Like war's expensive. Yeah, yeah. And you yep. should only do it when it's really, really necessary. Yeah. Cool. Um, but right. Yeah. Well, we're all done. Great. Thank you very much, you three, for playing. And yeah, thank you to everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about the game, uh, feel free to post them in the in the comments. Let me know. But as I say, this is a prototype. We've played today with the rules as far as we know them. And obviously keep an eye on the Kickstarter campaign for all of the latest information about the game. But we are all done. We will say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Great. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.